Do you find yourself scrolling on social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter? Well, if you do that and you like investing, you might like this app. I like it. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the public investing app, which is great for buying fractional shares and in long-term investing. There's also a social aspect to this app, which makes it different from other brokerages, and we'll make sure we look into that further later in this review. There's a lot of options out there when it comes to investing, and Public does offer another commission-free trading platform that just might be for you. I'm Sean with The Modest Wallet. We're glad you're here. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button click the little bell so you get notifications every week time we release a new video. If you aren't new, thanks for tuning into this video. We hope you find some value as we look to review the public.com app. And if you missed it, we did review the Robinhood app, so I'll leave a link right here so that you can go ahead and click that and you can check out our Robinhood review. Enough of that, let's get into our review of public.com. Public is a social investing platform. What this really means is that investors can interact with each other using the firm's mobile app. It really allows users to share ideas about stocks or maybe just the stock market in general. Think about it this way, instead of just scrolling, looking at posts or videos, you can see what friends or high profile individuals are buying or selling in their portfolios. Public works as a self-directed trading and investing platform. That means that users pick the stocks and ETFs that they would like to invest in without any assistance from the platform. They can buy and sell their holdings by using the firm's mobile app, and the company does not charge a fee for trades made within the platform. As of this recording, Public only allows its users to open taxable individual brokerage accounts. Nice, clean, taxable income. You can buy stocks and ETFs inside of those taxable accounts. So now let's talk about the sign-up process for opening up a public.com account. Sign up now. You can begin the sign-up process by downloading Public's mobile app from Google Play or the Apple App Store then follow these steps. First, open up the app and select Get Started. Enter your US phone number and select Next. You'll then receive an SMS code through a text that you'll then need to provide later. Add your name, select a username, then enter your email and create a password. Then there's the fun part by being able to select a free slice of stock by picking a company to invest in uh, from the limited selection displayed on the screen. The last process when you're signing up is to pick your interests in various categories and industries, really to personalize your feed. In order to be eligible for this app, you're gonna need to at least be 18 years old, have a valid residential address, a valid government issued ID, an existing bank or brokerage account for account transfers, and they're gonna ask for some requ other required information like a valid social security number or tax ID number. A uh, foreign tax ID, a passport or visa number if you are not a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. They're going to need a valid address and an employer's name, address, and phone number. Now that does seem like a lot and maybe it's a lot of information that you're not willing to give out, but that is pretty much the standard process for almost any brokerage when you're signing up. We've kind of talked about the sign up process, now let's talk about some of the app's features. Fractional shares is one of the core features really that supports public's mission and vision. So fractional shares really allows the user to own a portion of virtually any stock or ETF that the firm offers on the trading platform with as little as $5. Fractional share really entitles the user to you know, a portion of one stock. Fractional shares are meant to allow investors with small balances to really diversify their portfolio. This allows them to purchase holdings in multiple companies. Due to increasing share prices, this is very valuable or important to many investors. As I've already mentioned, the social features is another great feature of this app that stands apart from most other apps. The app allows users to follow each other. You can watch portfolios. You can also share ideas and insights by using group conversations. Once someone invests in a company, a notification will be posted in their feed and other people can comment on their investments. Another cool feature from this product is the ability to connect with family, friends, and colleagues through the service. The app can integrate your phone's contact book to locate friends or family who may have signed up with the platform. Themes are also an innovative way public classifies the different stocks and ETFs available within their platform. This really depends on the company's industry or mission. Investors can use public themes to invest in trends and economic sectors they see as promising 
or really that align with their particular interests. Some themes include the American made theme, which consists of US based firms, or the cash cows theme, which consists of businesses that pay large cash dividends to investors. Themes like the cash cow theme can be particularly interesting to income investors. Public's top movers feature keeps track of the stocks that have seen the biggest price fluctuations in any direction during a trading session. Investors can keep track of the movers to spot potential bargains with the losers row or stocks that are currently seeing positive momentum which can translate into further upside in the near future. Public does offer automatic drip or dividend reinvestments to its users. When you have dividends on the stocks you own, you have the option to choose whether you reinvest those dividends back into the company or if you keep it as cash. The goal of this feature is to grow your money faster through compounding interest. Let's take a look at Public's fees. Public does not charge any fees for trading US listed stocks or ETFs through the firm's mobile app. They also have no account minimums, so you can start investing with any dollar amount. On the other hand, broker-assisted phone trades have a flat fee of $30 per trade. Other fees include a $30 charge for domestic outgoing wires, $35 for domestic overnight check deliveries, and $30 for return checks, ACH, wires, and stopped payments. Finally, outgoing ACAT account transfers generate a $75 fee. Public.com is a US-based investing platform registered and regulated by the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, or FINRA, and the Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC. The firm is also a member of the Securities Investor Protection Corporation, or SIPC, which offers protection for investors' accounts up to 500,000 for each account. Let's discuss the pros and cons of Public. Let's start with the pros. First, Public is a regulated social investing platform registered with the SEC, FINRA, and SIPC in the United States. Public offers zero commission trades for US listed stocks and ETFs. The firm has an easygoing approach to investing that allows account holders to invest in high priced stocks through the purchase of fractional shares. Public social media-like platform offers a very interesting twist on the usual individual, individualistic and sometimes lonely path of building an investment portfolio. And finally, interactions within the platform with other investors can help enrich an investor's knowledge base about finance and investing. Some of the cons with Public include Public lacks a web-based or desktop trading platform. There's no foreign stocks or ETFs that can be bought through public, although there is a wide selection of US listed ETFs that cover foreign stocks and other instruments. Public does not offer margin or retirement accounts as of this recording. The firm lacks an automated investing service such as RoboAdvisor to help beginner investors build a portfolio from scratch. Overall, Public seems to be well-liked by investors. As of August 2021, Public has an A-minus rating from the Better Business Bureau. The app scores a 4.5 out of 5 with Google Play users with 13,782 reviews and a 4.7 out of 5 with Apple users with 18,897 reviews. Some other comparable apps include Webull, Robinhood, SoFi Invest, and Moomoo. We're getting towards the end of this review, so let's talk about who Public is best for. Public is best for beginners who enjoy sharing their thoughts with other investors. There's definitely a strong investing community within this app. The opportunity to buy a wide range of stocks through fractional shares makes this provider very appealing for investors with a small account balance. Public really seems to be most suitable for buy and hold investors rather than active traders. As of this recording, the trading platform is very limited in terms of the number of technical features that it offers. Public's lack of automated investing service such as RoboAdvisor is really a bit disappointing. Amateur investors using this platform could certainly benefit from some hand-holding while building their portfolios. Phew, that was a lot about public.com. I'd love to hear about your experience with public. Maybe you have one, maybe you've heard other people's experiences. Drop a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. If you are interested in signing up, make sure you check out our link in the description below and you can either continue your investing journey or maybe you're just starting your investing journey. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more Money Made Simple videos. And don't forget to head on over to the Modest Wallet blog as well as our more than 210,000 followers on the Modest Wallet on Instagram. I'll see you over there.